Nick here from Tabletop Duo and today we will learn how to play Monopoly. Setup. Give each player the following amount of Monopoly money. Shuffle the chance and community chest cards and place them face down on the market spots. Each player chooses a token and places it on the goal space. And now you are ready to learn how to play. Your goal is to make the other players go bankrupt. Each player rolls both dice. The highest roller starts. On your turn, roll both dice and move your token clockwise that number of spaces. Then, play goes to the next player clockwise. If you roll a double, you get to roll the dice again and take another turn. Note that if you roll a double three times in a row, you don't gain another turn. Move your pawn to the jail space. We'll talk about the jail later. If you land on a street, railroad or utilities space, check if that property has an owner. If it's unowned, you must buy or auction it. To buy, pay the price on the board space and take the title deed card from the bank. If you don't want to buy it, the bank must auction it. Bidding starts at 10 money and anyone can participate, in any order, with as little as 1 money. The bidding ends when no player is willing to increase the bid. Then the highest bidder pays the bank. Note that if no one bids, the deed stays in the bank. If you land on an owned property, then the following happens. If it's a street, pay the rent shown on the street's title deed card to its owner. If the owner has each street of a color set, or has houses or a hotel, the values are different. For railroad, pay the rent based on how many railroads the owner has. And if it's an utility, do what it says. If you pass or land on the goal space, collect 200 money from the bank. If you land on a chance or community chest, take the top card from the matching deck and do what it says. Then, return it to the bottom of the deck. If you land on the income or luxury tax spaces, pay the amount shown on the space to the bank. If you land on a free parking or the jail space without being sent to jail, you are just visiting, nothing happens. And if you land on the go to jail, move your token to the in jail space. When in jail, you can still collect rent, bid, buy houses or hotels, mortgage and trade. To leave the jail, you have three options at the start of your next turn. Pay 50 money, then roll the dice and move as normal. Use a get out of jail free card or try to roll a double. If you succeed, use the roll to move and that's the end of your turn. If you fail, you have to wait next turn. You can use up to three turns to try a double. And if you don't roll a double by then, pay 50 money and use your last roll to move. As soon as you get a color set, you can buy houses and eventually a hotel to increase the rent. You don't have to wait for your turn, but you must build them evenly. You cannot build a second house on a street until you have built one on each street of the color set. You can have up to 4 houses on a street. Once you have 4 houses on all streets of a color set, you can pay to upgrade the houses into a hotel. Pay the cost on the tile deed card, return all 4 houses and place a hotel on the street. You can only have one hotel per street and you can't add any more houses. Note that you cannot buy a hotel on a street if any street of its color set is mortgaged. If you owe another player or the bank and you cannot pay, you can try to raise money. Hotels or houses can be sold to the bank for half the cost price. If you sell a hotel, place four houses. Note that you have to sell them evenly. Example. If you have two hotel streets of the same color and you sell one, you cannot sell houses in it until you sell the other hotel. You can also mortgage a property, but you must first sell all buildings in its color set to the bank. To mortgage, turn the title deed card face down and collect from the bank the mortgage value on the back of the card. Rent cannot be collected on properties that are mortgaged. Note that the increased rent on unmortgaged railroads, streets or utilities may be collected. To repay a mortgage, pay to the bank the mortgage value plus 10%. You can also buy, sell or swap properties with other players at any time. Mortgaged properties can be traded, but the new owner must repay the mortgage or keep the mortgage but pay 10% of the value. To keep the game short, never loan money. When a player is bankrupt, they leave the game. When there is only one player left, that player wins the game. And that's how you play Monopoly. I hope you liked the tutorial, if so, hit the like button and subscribe to receive our latest how to play video updates. See you next time!